You're watching an episode of Spirits People Live with Johnny Michelson. Hey guys, Johnny here. Thank you so much for checking out Spirits People Live. This is a series of live recordings from Instagram where I connect with fine spirits enthusiasts around the world. We share our stories and our personal journeys into fine spirits with you guys. In this episode, I'm talking to fellow bourbon nerd, Mr. Lee Provost. Now, Lee and I go way back through the British Bourbon Society, and uh, we do enjoy a couple of drams every now and then here in London, where we both live. And uh, in this video, we were talking about the recent event we attended, was a tasting of the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection from 2018. And this was a tasting that was hosted by Drew Mayville, the master blender of Buffalo Trace. Now in this video, Lee and I are going to be talking about the different expressions and maybe some of our preferences of the five different bottles from the antique collection. So go ahead and check it out and thank you so much for watching. For more videos, check out spiritspeople.com, subscribe on YouTube and be sure to follow us on Instagram where we connect you with spirits people worldwide. Tuesday is back. Cheers, everybody. Old-fashioned time as usual. Very special old-fashioned. If you see my recent post, ah, there he is, Mr. Lee Provost. Timely. <laughs> Timely as ever. I'm gonna wave at everyone here. This is amazing. You can wave at people without having to wave. I hope everyone is having a drink. I know, Lee, I did not make you an old-fashioned. If you were here, I would have. <laughs> so today, I do have an old-fashioned made with this, this little beauty. Jerry Storpig, Eagle Rare. Well done, Dave. Awesome. So yeah, old fashioned made with the handy, 2017. And I can report back from the judging corner that this is absolutely amazing. It does, does really punch you in the face. <laughs> That's a good thing, I guess. Uh, I also have these little chocolates that uh, my wife just brought back. So I might have uh may have a little cheeky nipple on that at some point. <sighs> Kryptonite, third, third best in the world. What do you mean third best? Ali, yes, all you have to do is look, look pretty. <laughs> so, all right, cool. So today I'm gonna be going live with my good buddy, Lee, who is already trying to figure out how to join um, he'll realize that I will have to add him here. So I'll do that in a second. Um, so Lee and Alex are going to be talking about um, the 2018 uh, BTAC range, uh, Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. And while doing that, I'll be having an old fashioned made with last year's Thomas Handy. And of course, because it's Tuesday and it's giveaway time, we'll be selecting a winner of this week's Spirits Tuesday. Um, we'll be giving away a tote bag, which officially today has gone to print, which is freaking amazing. It's only taken me 10 Spirits Tuesdays to get to the point where the stuff I'm actually giving away is being made. So there's, there's that for you guys. <laughs> um, so I have a brand new system. Um, and if you joined last week, you'll have noticed that, um, the format of this little giveaway is uh, completely different now. So I'll be going live with Lee in a second. Um, and also we have all of the previous um, entries of Spirits Tuesday lined up um, so that everyone can uh, participate once and still have a chance to win uh, one of the tote bags that I'm giving away with the Spirits People brand on it. Um, so there's that. And uh, with no further ado, let me try and see if I can add Lee. Uh, that's not how you do that. Go away. Uh, how does that work? Ah. Uh, Marvelette whiskeys. 
<laughs> okay, I'm like I'm adding filters here. I want to Add filters. And uh, I want to add someone. Okay, I've <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm adding Lee. There we go. <laughs> filters. Instagram is trying to give me cat ears. That would have been epic on its own. Let's see if Lee can join. It says, waiting for Lee Provost. And while we wait, I'll have a sip of this. The luscious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did that actually happen? I have no idea because I was like trying to <laughs> desperately get rid of the filters. I had no idea how it disappeared, but it did. Oh, got it. Damn it. <laughs> maybe it's a thing. Maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should do the lashes. That'll be something for next week. All right. Still waiting for Lee. <laughs> so while we wait for Lee to join, uh, maybe there's a connection issue, uh, but while we wait, um, so basically, uh, did you receive my request? Uh, yeah, I did. I was trying to add you. So let's see here. Lee add. It says waiting for Lee. There you go. Um, so every week I will be going live with um, someone else. So obviously the first time I did this was last week. Ah, oh, there he is. Mr. Lee Provost. I can't hear you. Not true, but, oh yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, there we go. Uh, the the, the usual awkward <laughs> checking whether you can hear each other. Like any other conference call you would have at work, there has to be some glitches. <laughs> we can send people to the moon, but on, we buddy? can't get video conferencing sorted. <laughs> you're, breaking, you're breaking up a little bit. I don't know if there's a connection issue, but um, we're going to have to talk slowly. Can you hear me okay? Uh, I'll try without my headphones. Is that better? Oh, that's way better. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you gotta get rid of those cheap bows. <laughs> <laughs> what are you uh, What are you drinking tonight, Lee? Uh, I am drinking my uh, favorite, which is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, sixty four percent. All right, old bottle, nice. I, I know the hazmat is like a step up, but the problem is um, you can only have one and then you can only follow it with another hazmat. I know, if you can pour, you can only, you can follow with that. <laughs> exactly. So fun, fun fact for um, people who are watching or, or maybe people watching on replay that um, once at a barbecue at my house, um, we decided for some reason that um, the Elijah Craig hazmat was gonna be the last pour of the night, which left everyone kind of stumbling out of our garden. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> cool. So Lee, you would have seen, um, so I made an old fashioned with my 2017 Thomas Handy, which was my absolute favorite from last year. Which was your favorite from last year? Um, last year, uh, same, Handy. Mm. Um, yeah, I think Handy, then uh, Weller, then Stack, and then, yeah, the other two were wherever else, fourth, fifth, yeah. fifth, fourth. <laughs> left, left to their own devices. Yeah, I was kind of, I was, I was, I was similar. However, I will say that uh, last year's Stag. Uh, came after the Eagle Rare, even though I didn't really care much for the Eagle Rare, and that's how much I disliked the Stag last year. Which is why, I guess, and you know this because we're, we're at the tasting together, that this year's Stag was have you, absolutely amazing. Have you ever done the SAS 18 and the Eagle Rare on its own? Because I think the the biggest flow of all the VTAC tastings I've been is that they line all five of them um, up, and so you get three sixty plus percent 
barrel proof whiskies and then you have two which are well around what was it 50 percent 45 50 percent and and i think it's it's quite an unfair uh lineup and 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 so because uh, at the london cocktail week this week we both had the Sadrak 18 and Eagle Rare, I think, separate at the end of the day. And all of a sudden, those two were, uh, I, I would seriously recommend uh, both of them. But against the stack or, or, or the handy or the weller, they just don't, don't just, it's not a fair comparison, I think. Yeah, I think when you do the, I see a couple of people joining here. Christine Kim is here in the house. The whiskey terrorist. What's up, Christina? <laughs> um, yeah, I think like to be honest, like when you do the lineup of, of all the Buffalo Trace um, antique collection, um, the the Sazerac always kind of fell falls short because um, of the low proof and it's just too it's too light. Uh, but I've had it on its own quite a few times um, over the years, and if you just have that, it's like really really complex. Mm -hmm. But like when you drink it right after having like a, a George T. Stag or a Tom's Handy, like it, it tastes like nothing. And it's like a really unfair comparison. But I think this year it was better than last year, in my opinion. Um, it was less, it has that soapy notes to it, uh, which I think is the old, like it's quite old rye. And then it's diluted down. I've had that with other old ryes, like Jefferson, Jefferson's Reserve, like 25 year old rye. Uh, which has that kind of soapiness to it for some reason. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's talk about, um, let's talk about a few things. So what we'll do in a second um, is that we'll talk about um, this week's Spirits Tuesday. But first of all, the reason I'm, I'm doing these live sessions with um, another Spirits person on Tuesdays is because that's kind of, um, that's at the heart of what I wanted to do with this account. Um, I wanted to just reach out and talk to people, uh, meet new people. Obviously you and I know each other, uh, but you have to start somewhere. <laughs> um, so hopefully in the future, I'll be talking to new people that I haven't met before. Um, and we'll be talking about random stuff. And today we'll be talking about the 2018 BTEC stuff. So, People know already from my feed that the Stag is my favorite this year and the Thomas Handy is coming up second. Um, but I'm interested to hear um, your thoughts, Lee, from, from the tasting this week we did with Drew um, in terms of like where you would put them on, on a scale. I know it's difficult, but uh, we have to entertain, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, so I, I, I agree with uh, Stack being number one this year. Uh, mm. I mean, last year, um, I, I, I found the Stack a bit uh, too hot uh, to my taste, mm -hmm. um, which, which is why I, I rated the Handy and the Weller uh, higher last year. Uh, <clears throat> I think the Stack this year was better balanced. Um, <laughs> I, um, now, I think one, one slight kind of personal uh, 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 challenge was that uh, last year I really enjoyed the, the, the kind of the more floral rice like, like, like Handy and, and, and the smooth amblers and the whistle pigs. And, and I mm. think in the past couple of months, uh, my, my, my personal flavor kind of profile changed. And right. I, I seem to enjoy those rice less than I used to last year. So I guess for me personally, that contributed to to rating the the handy uh, lower than last year. So for me, it was stack number one, Weller number two, and then the handy number three, right. which surprised me. It was really a surprising outcome. But I guess mm. last year during the tasting with BBS, we also had very tasty but very spicy food, which also influenced a bit our yeah. tasting session. Yeah, it's a different it's a different environment. I think this. This tasting that you and I did um, last week with Drew, um, who's the master blender at Buffalo Trace, was, I think, a little bit more uh, fair to everything because there's no there's no food or anything involved where it kind of like it, it challenges your palate. Uh, and yeah, last year was <laughs> it was pretty spicy food, so I think that that didn't um, didn't do it any justice. Um, you can still 
you can still get a good flavor out of the the higher proof ones but i think the the sazerac mm -hmm. after kind of a, a pretty heavily spiced chicken wing is probably not going to give you much flavor uh besides chicken wing um so yeah i think from, from my perspective like the the stag was a massive surprise this year because i i haven't really I haven't enjoyed any of the stags like i think since 2012 um it was the last that i remember actually liking and rating higher than some of the other ones but i think this year yeah so just like really really good really well balanced um approachable probably probably the proof has something to do with that um it just it it just feels more um friendly <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what are your thoughts on, because obviously, so the Eagle Rare is 17, they've changed. Uh, oh shit, my wife has joined. This is awkward. Hello. <laughs> stop, stop talking, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> this is canceled. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the Eagle Rare has changed in terms of like the proof, um, and the way Drew was explaining, explaining it to us, um, in the tasting was that um they wanted it to they wanted the eagle rare to make more of a um an impact um in the btac range um and step a little bit further away from the 10 year old um and obviously the 10 uh, which is also a 90 proof if i'm not mistaken um only difference really is the age so i think like by adding a higher proof um to this year's eagle rare 17 um i think made a massive difference in my opinion um, and I would, on a good day for that, I'd probably rate it higher than the 2018 Weller, uh, to be honest. I think it was really, really nice. Um, the Weller for me was very alcohol forward. It was like super drying um, and not in a good way, kind of just, just took away some of those nice uh, mellow weeded flavors. Um, but I guess if you have them again individually, it might be different. But. But yeah, so what, what did you think about the Eagle Rare 17 um, from, from this year? Um, I've, I've had very mixed experiences with Eagle Rare in the past. I'm, I'm talking about the 10-year-old the, the ten year, the ten year old and, and the various uh, uh, barrel picks. I, I think one of the best experiences was the, uh, the, the barrel pick from M&P, the, the Polish... Um, um, wine and spirits group that mm -hmm. I've shared with you one, uh, and yep. I have another bottle coming, so so we can we can share that very soon. That's so good. Uh, <laughs> that was a highlight, but there are a few other eagle rares that never really kind of excited me, and 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 I have a slight similar feeling with with the eagle rare seventeen, but to be honest, it could also be just because it was in a lineup with some other fairly stellar uh, uh, kind of bottles. Um, yeah, if I have to choose between the Sazerac 18 or the Eagle Rare, um, <laughs> like who's your favorite child? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure whether I, I can really like clear cut say I prefer this one over the other one, right. um, I do remember downing one of them at the end when we had to run. Uh, when we had to leave that tent at the London Cocktail Week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, do, do you think it's coincidence, by the way, that it's 50.5? Is it Because I've noticed a few uh, 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 kind of spirits, uh, whiskies that are kind of going for the 50.5 range. And I wonder whether there is mm. a bit of a Wild Turkey 101 type kind of, you know, benchmark or with alcohol proof and because it seems to be quite widely accepted that proof point yeah I, like to be honest i think i mean a lot of a lot of bottling bonds um i think are attractive to people because of the the stuff behind it so i think like when things are 100 proof and it has bottle of bottling bond on it and it's it's kind of a it's a purchase magnet i guess uh for some people um yeah. And this, like, by all means, like, not all bottling bonds are, are good. Um, but I think it's one of those things that there's a certain, there's a certain attention given to those things. So I think, like, from, from marketing perspective, it makes sense to, to try and punch some of that. Like, 90 proof nowadays, I think, is, is good for kind of a broader market. But I think since the whiskey 
enthusiast kind of family worldwide is growing so big i yep. think the 101 proof is is a much safer proof um to hit some of the enthusiasts uh, which is obviously growing quite heavily at the moment so uh, what do you My think of the, of the of the recent uh the heaven hill botland bond kind of uh there's this whole thing about uh, I think they 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 what uh, stopped discontinued the the range, but I know you you have a bottle at home, right? I think. Yeah, I got one. I can see it right there. <laughs> so what are you what are your thoughts on that? Because I'm halfway that bottle and and I'm like, this is a phenomenal twelve dollars, you know, bottle of bourbon. Oh, yeah. uh, but it's not something that like terribly excites me. <laughs> So I think um, there's a really good review on, I think it's called Malt Reviews, um, um, which was shared by, I think Jordan uh, from BBS, um, Jordan Harper posted up a link on the British Bourbon Society, or maybe it was separate, a separate group or something like that. But I think there was an honor of that. And I think the... At the end of the day, like for the price point, um, which is like a sub 20 bucks um, bottle and bond, six year old bourbon, it's it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. And if you're trying to find something else at that price range, you're probably going to find something that's less attractive. Uh, but I think if you start considering like something that is discontinued and people like hoarding that stuff, it's like I wouldn't necessarily put a bunch of stock in in my basement of that stuff i mean it is it is just a really good uh cheap bourbon um it's very sweet which i think is like if you're not if you're not like really into something that's a higher proof or like something that's quite unique in that sense in the bourbon world like it's just a very easygoing um well approachable bourbon but it's not like it's not anything special to be honest except for the price point which just makes it really mm. good at that um okay yeah. so uh, what what's your um kind of go-to bottom shelf or bottom shelf uh bourbon or, or, or rye whiskey at the, at home so if you can get the baby says which i absolutely love there was a there was a discount on amazon not too long ago where they sold them for about 30 i think 30 35 pounds i bought a couple of bottles they're already gone this is really, really good. Um, I think normally it sells for about 50, which I think is a little bit too much for that. Mm -hmm. um, I'll do a four rows of single barrel any day. I'll do a wild turkey 101 any day. Um, any of those bottles I think are well worth within the price that they sell for, even in the UK, I think, because obviously we have a higher, it's a higher price on things over here than there is in the US, but I think even for what like 40 45 pounds for like a single barrel uh four roses uh, yeah it's fair i think it, it tastes well within that price range in my opinion i think it's just good and what wild turkey is like what 30 pounds <laughs> yeah, yeah official retail yeah yeah uh, from amazon of certain deals you can get it 23 22 i think uh, <laughs> yeah the yeah. so wild turkey 101 is for me and just like there's no no competition for me. Always have a couple of bottles at home. Yeah. Uh, always take it to um, parties or, or and and it's also the one that um, I find is a good one to convert Scotch drinkers to American whiskey because I I've tried with Four Roses and 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 um, some of my friends thought it was slightly too sweet. Um, right. And then when I introduced them to Wild Turkey 101, it kind of seemed to hit that right initial spot of a bit of the, 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 the high rye, kind of the spice and, and, and um, in, in the mash bill. So, yeah. Cool. I found that with um, some of the few, uh, the few rye is kind of a good uh, transition whiskey. If you're into scotch, uh, trying to get into rye and bourbon, I think that's, that's a good kind of transition area. It's like a lot of floral notes as well. And the rye is quite malty. Which I think, if you're a Scotch drinker, you might you might actually like that profile. But mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I drink some Scotch. Um, I think it has to be in the mood. It's like similar to like when you have a lot of bourbons, you have to be in the mood for a rye and vice versa and that kind of stuff. But yep. Scotch is a, I'll drink anything, you know. <laughs> as long as it's boozy. Rum, rum is the big thing now. Like 
I'm I'm going to the Rum Fest um, in a couple of weeks, and that's going to be really really cool. I might be able to join you. Uh, All right. This is a very public awesome. announcement, but I might. Be able to <laughs> It is, it is now. Um, and I know that, um, so a couple of people who are doing Spirits Tuesday, which brings me to uh, the point that we have to get to um, announcing this week's winner, but um, a couple of people are in the rum community. So Rum Compass and Rum Diaries um, are posting almost every week, actually, um, which is pretty cool. I love it when, when people kind of uh, join in week after week. Um, but yeah, they'll they'll both be there at the Rum Fest, um, so it'll be cool to meet some of the people participating. Um, I can uh, actually contribute something to your uh, competition. I think this week's uh, winner, uh, I'm going to send out a sample. Sorry, am I hijacking your uh, competition? Oh no! <laughs> you do realize that the winner could be in Japan, right? <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay. You, let, let, you, do, maybe, you do whatever. Let, let's maybe scope it to Europe for the time <laughs> being. So the winner, uh, I'll donate a sample of this uh, Cajun Head 18-year-old oat uh rum. Oh, sweet. Uh, it's a, uh, it, I mean, I've had quite a few different values and Caronis and Foursquare. And um, when I saw this being released a couple of weeks ago on the Cajun Head website, always wanted to try it uh, and it, it's unlike any rum I've had so the winner of this week gets a sample of this uh, but you have to be in Europe <laughs> all right cool let's see we have uh, there's a uh, there's a few rum people in the list so uh, why don't we why don't we jump in I can see Emma has joined what's going on Emma Emma is also uh, participating in Spirits Tuesday these days uh, making cocktails which is awesome my uh, my cocktail is done. My Thomas Handy Old Fashioned is completely empty. It's just ice melting at the moment. Um, but anyway, so Lee, here we go. So I'll show you and the world um, what I have over here. So basically, this is my brand new system and it's completely flawless until I start and then it's going to be filled with flaws. But basically, we have all of the people who have yet to win a tote bag um, and all of their individual entries have been listed. So Emma, as an example, you have participated five times and it's stated right here. So no one can be in doubt. Um, over here we have a random number which gives me the ability to randomize and I'll prove it to you by do like that. And Lee, you can be my, my witness. So if I Go ahead and just filter things A to Z, A to Z. The whole list gets scrambled, and we'll go ahead and. Well, I mean, this could have been a pre-recorded video, so uh, I mean, it's very yeah. hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's actually true. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. Uh, okay. But anyway, so what we have today is let's see here from two to forty-two is what we need to get a number from you, and then that person will move into my tote bag winning list. So on this list is all the people who have won a tote bag. And every week, um, as you know, we do a round of randomizing over here to get a person listed over here on the potential t-shirt winning list. And then lastly, we have the t-shirt winning list. The system is fucking incredible. And Lee, as you will notice here, your name is here and only your name. So mm -hmm. what will happen from here moving forward, um, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, however, whoops, there we go. <laughs> That's my master sheet, just so you can see how much effort actually goes into this. So there you go. Um, all right, cool. So I'm going to flip around this camera again so you can see my ugly face. And then, Lee, I'm going to need you to give me a number, first of all. And this is for the Weekly Spirits Tuesday tote bag. Uh, let's see here. It was between 2 and 42. And I'm going to need a number in between that, including both 2 and 42. So what do you say? I think it's too tempting to not say 42. So 42. I'll say 42. 
All right, so I'm gonna randomize the list and then scroll down. Oh, shit. All right, Lee, I can confirm that the person is in Europe. So the person you'll be sending a sample of your rum is Rum Diaries. Oh, wow. Stephen, Stephen James. <laughs> I think Stephen is the perfect person to receive a sample. Oh my gosh. Stephen is going to be the happiest person. Stephen has joined nine Spirits Tuesdays out of ten. And every week he's been crying his eyes out because he haven't won. So today he wins a tote I bag of Spirits uh, people plus. I think, I think he a deserves sample. it. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was actually, I was, I was feeling so bad that like, if he didn't win today, I was considering just, just sending him a tote bag. <laughs> He's such a legend. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully going to run into him at the Rum, Rum Fest uh, in a couple of weeks here in, in London, down in, oh, it's in South London, it's Fulham, I think. Well, with a bit of luck, I might be able to join and I'll just hand it over in person then. That would be... That would be amazing. All right, cool. So what I have to do, so maybe Lee, you can sing a little song while I do this. Uh, <laughs> so I now am going to move Rum Diaries from here to here so that he is on the other list because next what we're going to have to do is and I'll show you guys that he is here. Just you. So there's no, let's see here, delete. All right, so I'll flip the camera. Steven is now on the list of people who have won a tote bag. However, he could potentially be caught in the web of Lee's head and be moved straight into the potential t-shirt winning list because now he's here and now we're going to be doing the second round. This is exciting as ever. This is like the most exciting thing in the world. I'm going to have a sip of Thomas Handy just because I can't control myself. So I think it feels like I need to donate another sample for this winner. Uh... <laughs> Uh, that's, that's up to you, Lee. I'm sure that people are going to be very, very happy with that. Uh, do you want to stick to rum or do you want to go for like Armagnac or, <laughs> or, or? Behold world, the most generous man in the world. <laughs> Watch as he goes to find booze that he will give away right. for free. <laughs> I got, uh, this. Castring Armagnac Scotch Mall Whisky Society uh, was an absolute steal when they released it. Amazing! Uh, it, it, it's it's like drinking liquid uh, raisins. Liquid raisins, like dude, I'm gonna start joining Spirits Tuesday and not do this so I can win this. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is for the next uh, winner. All right. Cool. So, Stephen James, congratulations. Um, if we didn't say that before, you are this week's winner of Spirits Tuesday after nine long weeks of participating in this contest. Um, and Mr. Lee Provost will give you a very special sample of one of the Cadenhead's um, rums that he was just showing. Maybe show the bottle just for the for the audience. Are you are you pouring oh, some almond oh, now? <laughs> I, was, I was drinking almond yak. Um So this is the uh, rum. Excellent. So Steven, there you go. Maybe you have this, maybe you don't. Um, if you do, maybe you can negotiate with Lee and you can, uh, you can find something else in his amazing collection. Um, but on to the next. So Steven, winner of this week's Spirits Tuesday, congratulations. One tote bag for you. Um, you've been moved over to the list of the people who have won a tote bag and now potentially can be added to the monthly giveaway which is a t-shirt which is um really only yuli um that's won before um but it's not rigged at all the whole competition <laughs> <laughs> it's not rigged no, we have had zero conversations about this um and also i will say that 
um, because today is actually the 10th um, Spirits Tuesday and my 10th live session. So we will be jumping ahead and doing another t-shirt giveaway today. How about that? It's going to be epic. Lee, you will have a fellow t-shirt member in here, but first we have to move someone up. So I need you to give me a number between two and 53. Uh, uh, two. Wait, those are all people that, that, that won what? Already won. So these are all, so there, there are multiple entries. So remember that. Ah, okay. So it's between number two and 53 and both numbers included. Uh, 21. 21. All right, cool. So what I'll, I'll do this live. Here we go. So now this cannot be a movie. So I'm going to now hit the random button here. I'm going to sort this and then we're going to see. Oh, the bourbon brummy. <laughs> All right, Stephen, another BBSer. This is not rigged whatsoever. This is amazing. <laughs> so another another European. This is excellent. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm going to move over Stephen to the list for the t-shirt win. So here we go. Copy that. Move this over. Then make sure he's not on the other list. And this is where the flaw comes in. This is where people are saying, what the hell's going on? This is boring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lee. So we will be giving away a t-shirt and I can see you're staring desperately at, at your collection. It's going to give more stuff away, I sense. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Um... Feeling extra generous today. Uh, I, I can tell. You're a you're a good participant. Now people are gonna not want to be <laughs> partnering with you. They're gonna ex be expected to give shit away. <laughs> this is not the expectation. Um. Right. I have the uh, single cask release Westland from uh, Astor Wines in New York. Ah, oh, Jesus, Lee. <laughs> you do realize you have to give me samples of all those things too, right? <laughs> but I thought that was a given already, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. So, let's see. We're going to give away another T-shirt. And again, actually, it's between 2 and 53 once again. So, let me just sort this A to Z. And then I'll flip the camera so that we can see there's no fiddling about rigging the system. So here we have another color, yellow, plus, of course, the bourbon brummy who just got added to this list. And who knows? He may be the winner. So between two and 53, both numbers included. Uh, 35. 35. Boom. Oh, my God. It is the bourbon brummy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, this is completely random. But Jesus Christ, bourbon brummy, straight to the top of the hill with a T-shirt from Spirits People. There we have it. Today's amazingness. Lee, absolute legend. Is, is, is he in the, in, the, in the live feed or? Uh, uh, no. Normally he is, is, but uh, I don't think he is right now. Uh, but he will know. He is a BBS member, so he will be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Two BBS winners. This is uh, this is random again. The system is not rigged. I prove to you that it's completely random. And me and Lee have zero conversations outside of just this one stream. <laughs> Oh gosh, Lee! What an what an awesome what an awesome stream! Thanks for uh, for helping me out and thanks for giving away samples that was not expected. Uh, but I'm sure everyone's going to be very happy, including uh, 
including Stephen James, who's getting a run. Our, our... But, but to, to be honest, I got the format slightly wrong. I, I, I thought it was like the, the wrong thing. Uh, and now I ended up with three samples. So if it's fine, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it later. Your, your system is as flawed as mine. So there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, cool. Um, Lee? I'm gonna okay. release you. I'm gonna release you from your duties. Thanks again for for popping in, and uh, yeah, I'll I'll see you soon around around the office. Me and Lee work <laughs> around the corner from each other. No one no one knows this, but we yeah. do. <laughs> All right. All right. Peace out, Bye. Lee. I'll see you soon. Cheers. All right. All right. All right. Lee Provost, what a fucking legend giving away free samples to this week's Spirits Tuesdays winners and the fast riser, Mr. B the Bourbon Brummy, sorry. Um, so yeah, that's it for this week. Hope you guys um, found this interesting. Um, and as I said earlier, um, I'll be doing these live streams with um, some other people, hopefully in the future, um, if you're interested in joining me like Lee today in one of these Tuesday sessions, uh, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Be happy to um, meet some new people. Or if I know you already, obviously you are more than welcome. Um, this will be a a thing moving forward. So every Tuesday, a double session uh, with me and someone else. And we'll be talking about booze probably and whatever else comes up. And then we'll be picking this week's, uh, the weekly winner of Spirits Tuesday. So if you want to join in on the weekly giveaway. I will be giving away um, tote bags. I don't have a tote bag right now with me. However, um, the bulk order has been uh, confirmed today. So very happy with that. It only took me about two and a half months to get that shit sorted. So, um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, feel free to join the Spirits Tuesday stuff on, on Instagram, post a picture of two bottles of any kind of booze, it can be vodka, cognac, moonshine, sake, whiskey, of course, and rum, gin, whatever. Um, and then use the hashtag Spirits Tuesday. And then from there on, you're automatically added to the list. And you'll, uh, if you watch this section today, um, you'll be able to win some free stuff. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy, pretty simple, hopefully, hopefully fun. So that's it for this week. Thanks, guys, for joining, and uh, I'll see you next week. Peace. Thank you for watching this episode of Spirits People Live. For more videos, check out spiritspeople.com, subscribe on YouTube, and be sure to follow us on Instagram, where we connect you with spirits people worldwide.